The girls have a few desks arranged to fall on the table. Yuri walks to the corner of the closet, opens the closet, sit across from each other, still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but what make we'll make sure you feel right at home. It's, it's my duty to make sure the club is fun and exciting for everyone. There aren't more people in the club yet, surprise. Must be hard. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting an all-out effort into starting something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that literature is both, or it's both, whatever. You know the line. This is a bummer. But it makes important, it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Really glow this grow this club before we graduate, right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. That was different before, I think. Just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in the middle of each of us before setting down the teapot. You keep a whole set of tea in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. <clears throat> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? So what would happen if I picked all the things that not er, <clears throat> Sayori would like when I write the poem? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Yeah, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. Blah, blah. All of this. Tea and reading might not be a task time for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly- I've only been recording for 20 minutes, and I feel like I've been being punched in the stomach for like an hour. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. What kind of book things do you like to read? Ah, uh, well, haha, manga. I guessed it right. Considering how- uh, yeah. Mutter half joking. Suddenly Natsuki's head perks up. Wants to say something but stays quiet. Not much of a reader. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you? Well, let's see. Traces the rim of the teacup with her finger. So is my save, like, from before? Just, they're all empty now. Okay. That was just a curiosity was bothering me. Deep complex fantasy worlds. So I can't skip these either. Here he goes on, passionate about her reading. By the way, comfort of books, not people. But you know I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. It's amazing how a writer gives it your own lack of imagination to completely... No, that was the same. Yeah. How? I read a horror book once. Oh wait, that was the same. I thought that was more of a reference to... I'm stupid. I only... I only... Might as well be conversing with a rock. Suits your personality. What is that? Really, it sort of makes me... Yeah. Surreal horror is often successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Yeah. Ugh. Why is that? Well, I just... I started over the me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things. What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper behind at the last club meeting. Looks like you were right working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give it back. I don't know if I'm just... My energy has been sapped from me because I'm bummed out. Or because... Or it's a combination of being bummed out and now also replaying this and just kind of skimming for things to be different. <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems. Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. She averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how she feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. 
the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough. Excuse me. To share hers. I guess it's the same for you. We all sit in silence for a moment. Figure skating pose. Just got an idea, how about this? Oh. Quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we can all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President after all. I needed to do my best to nurture the club, as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well? Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? We've missed the mo now that we've reached the most blah, 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 most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join. If I would have just not joined, would that have made Sayori not do that? <laughs> Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and I'm um, losing my train of thought. Sad puppy dog eyes, even without it being four, still is enough to make this dude crack. But I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> eh. Steam glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth. The thing is, we don't have enough members to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. If we don't at least find one more before the festival. Okay, you know, that a little bit more reasonable of a request. I don't feel terrible for letting anyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I have to pay, yeah, whatever, you're dumb. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. My goodness, really. Do you really mean that? Yeah. It could be fun, right? It really did scare me for a moment. Yeah. I'm so happy. So don't. Say already said that before. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. She looks over at me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Yeah. Can I really impress the class all-star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety. Meanwhile... I need chit chat while Yuri cleans up the tea. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way home, my, wander my mind wanders back and forth between the three of them. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be... Again, every day is a little ridiculous. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find you. Find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You have- oh no. Oh no. Yes? Things I like about Papa. Come home early, cooks me dinner, gives me the allowance. Spends time with me, asks me about my friend, asks me about anything, gives me lunch money, comes home before sundown, cooks, gives me privacy, doesn't tell me how to dress, doesn't comment on my friends, doesn't comment on my hobbies, comes home without waking me up, 
keeps food in the house, uses his inside voice, leaves my stuff alone, accidentally drops coins in the couch. Too tired to notice me, too tired for anything, I like him. Yeah, that's pretty, uh... Bummer. Okay. So, I'm gonna choose Bubbles. Oh, man. Embrace. And she's just gone, too. This is... this sucks. Rain clouds. Infalliable. Laugh. Forgive. Or, uh... Whew! Ugh. Heart. Dokie dokie. Hopeless. <sighs> Scars. Effulgent. Heartbeat. Graveyard. Yeah, I'm not reading like all of them anymore because they're mostly the same. Ambient, heaven sent, frightening, awesome, imagination, heaven sent. Unstable might be the epitome of this last half hour. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah, alright, let's be topical. Unrequited. Uncontrollable. Oh man. I don't... It's really weird that it's just proceeding like this too. Not to see you didn't run away on us. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. I was the last to come in, so everyone's hanging out. Oh! Okay. Hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not a cut. Like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I'm pretty sure the music is different. If only a little bit. Uh, I come here to hang out, but if you don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. Your sprite is superimposed over the text box this time. And it definitely got weird. Thankfully, I would love to murmur like I did the other time. But thankfully I know what they already said. Manga is literature. There you go. Swiftly defeated, she plops back into her seat. I'm sorry. Well, I'll make sure to put you... Or we'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Excuse me? Uh, don't, don't, I don't want special treatment. Anyway. I'm not sure in the club and all. Perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right to do for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. No, it's not that. I want to try and be part of the club. So even if, <clears throat> if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book with you if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like... Well, Vice President and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Reaches into your bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Picked up a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it. <laughs> Turns away. 
this is this is oh oh I thought it was gonna describe the book for some reason this time despite me not reading much I think I'm starting to lose my mind Like, maybe it was just the way I was looking at it for a second, but it looks like the room is slanted. Or, like, someone took it and rotated it a slight bit. <clears throat> I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. You, well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Oh, no, no, it is definitely screwing with me. Okay. Because her sprite got bigger there. Well, everyone's settled in. I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice. Doesn't even bother mentioning Matsuki rummaging her. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel a little bad distracting her. Catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It's the same book that she lent me. She seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crud. I think she noticed me looking at her. Our eyes meet for a split second. Hides her face deeper in the book. <clears throat> I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I wasn't so focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... It's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I know I said something about her eyeballs, or their eyes being weird in the last recording, but this over here, a little too strange. Not for any particular reason. Just curious how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well I stopped by the bookstore yesterday. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. I see. Something fairly obvious here that she's not telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about, anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. Portrait of Markov. Ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's this religious camp that's turned into a human. This is a different. Yeah, this is different. Killing machines that lust for blood. At the facility, you can get some selectively breeding people by cutting off them and affixing them to. Ooh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. <laughs> uh, I don't worry. I wasn't. Although I'm kind of suspicious about. It's kind of dark. Okay, you know what? That is actually. I could understand people being taken aback by that synopsis. The first one, though, my this character was just being a yutz. That other one's. This particular version also sounds really cool, though. Yeah, I made it sound was, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> It's symbolic. <laughs> You're not a fan of that sort of thing? Oh, I like it. That's why I'm still playing this game. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. I totally forgot that she's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive, but on the inside, her mind seems to be completely different. This kind of story is kind of the challenge is to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Yep. Then suddenly... I wanted to know what the end of that one was. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I'm expecting that black text to come back, or the black background to come back. 
My body gets... Okay, I didn't see the... Uh, that scrolled by too fast for me to catch. Luckily for you, luckily for me, I'm recording that. Like, I'm... So, when I read that, when I pause it... Hopefully I'm gonna remember to read it when I... Before I actually render the video so I can, like... Annotate a comment or something up in this little region. Kind of forget to pay attention to other people, so I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I stop start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Hmm. That was cool. I mean, you don't have to, but... What are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and I had and blah 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 blah. 